My interest in grizzly bears was sparked at a really young age. I had a kind of a unique youth in, in that I was uh, born in the southeast uh, portion of British Columbia where my father was studying grizzly bears and continued to study grizzly bears for uh, 45 years. Grizzly bears in the Rocky Mountains like open habitats and these types of habitats have often been maintained by either fire or avalanche or other disturbances. First Canadian National Park was established in 1885 and really shortly thereafter, fire suppression was a, the main part of the park service essentially to the point that there was very little fire from say the 1930s to the 1980s. So a lot of the Rocky Mountains now in our national parks are essentially quite forested from the valley bottom to the alpine. So there isn't a lot of habitat in those areas for grizzly bears compared to what there was historically. But what's happened is some of the human modified areas within that, whether it's roads or railways, become attractive to grizzly bears. Prescribed fire aims to burn at lower intensity and because of that it adds nutrient cycle to the soil and promotes a kind of a more natural regrowth or succession and that's often what grizzly bears feed upon. By creating habitat using prescribed fire in remote areas, in essence it can help draw bears away from those high use areas and allow them a safe place to forage. <laughs> 